Hello, everybody. Welcome to game number six of Nurgle, the most fun, um, against Chaos Dwarves. And, uh, well, he's got a couple of guard. He's got a block. It's not that bad, but he's only got 11 players. He's got he's got the 140 TV, which is the perfect TV difference, but he's got the 10k in the bank. Let's see if he gets the wizard or just like, I don't know, a babe or something. No, babes or something. What have I got? A mighty blow guy. A block guy. A block mighty blow. Yeah. Fucking how unlucky can you get? How unlucky can you get there that he had the 10k in the bank? But, you know, could have been... <laughs> If I hadn't bought that, um, hello. If <laughs> if I hadn't bought that reserve, um, player. If I, yeah, I should have taken the claw first. Yeah, I should have. What I should have done was not got that reserve because that reserve has given him the wizard, which is probably going to lose me the game, or at least may, not make it a win, which almost counts as a loss, not winning. Man, that is a bastard. That is a bastard. <laughs> yep. Right. Um, okay. Jimmy White is gone. Record 4-1-0. But, um... I've just got to receive bang on him and hope he concedes before he wizards. Record is 4 1 0, which is pretty amazing for, for a rookie Nerg. Hello, VIP Aguai Weeks, by the way. Yeah, the thing the thing was, though, with this rookie Nurgle is every opponent was new to Blood Bowl. That's the thing. And it goes a long way, doesn't it? Your opponent being new to Blood Bowl. If they're. Um, it doesn't even even the he didn't even lose to Lizardman, which is crazy. Um, so might not lose this game, but it's going to be tough, isn't it, against a wizard and bulls? It's um, it's not nice. Didn't see the record. Shit. Um, what's the time? All oh, right. What I shall do is I shall have a look at the coach here and I will find the record of his all of his teams these are 4 and 0 chaos dwarves his other teams 754 dwarves 211 undead 111 norse 101 orc and skaven chorfs nurgle nurgle necro nurgle and he's conceded he conceded his Nurgle and Necro first games. He conceded the Orc game that he lost. So he has he has got a record for conceding. Um, but, man, that's disappointing that he's 4 0 with his team, isn't it? Shit. So need to blitz one of these. Make a risky block there. Risky block there. Quite like the black on these Nurgle. Wish I hadn't bought that reserve. Probably cost me this game. But never mind, we'll see. I should make this the reliable blocks that I can make the blitz in. Well, I can just blitz in, that's better, isn't it? Defenseless bull rather than a block guy is better. So, yeah, I'll go for the blitz on him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nah, I'm gonna have to go on the line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, he doesn't get a blitz. Well, that's good for me, isn't it? Especially with the twelfth man. Oh, 
both down here would be pretty pretty sexy to then get the foul in. No, no, just get a push. Standard, standard banged on practice there. Three rerolls, do I go for the pickup first? Hmm, I guess I have to, I have to reroll it as well. With these fucking balls around. What a load of cunt shit. <sighs> yeah, it's based on TV, but also you get matched at 50. No, TV matchmaking does not only base on TV. It's worse than random, it's TV plus, yeah. You get matched at, at your TV plus 50 for every win. Every, you do wins minus losses times by 50 TV. And then you get matched at that, um, plus your TV. So, for example, this guy was getting matched at 200 more than his TV, and I was getting matched at more than more at 200 my, 200 more than my TV. Whereas some people are getting matched as 200 less than their TV, and what have you. But yeah, it's mostly just bad at low TV because of the the lack of amount of people spinning, looking for games, not spinning. <laughs> Spinning's the old terminology from Blood Bowl One. But yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I know it's stupid, but there you go. Tell it to fucking Dodo and Voodoo Mike who have their fucking stats. We've got their fucking stats, and they, they, you know, there you go. I don't know, they're cunts. That's all I've got to say about that. This isn't any drink, it's not piss. Just so you know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it really fucking looks like piss though. Holy shit. Mm. Your Yeah, exactly, uh, don't they, Kellis? It's just dumb as... It's dumb as fuck, because they say that. They say that... They say... Oh, my God. They say that... Um, that it doesn't affect it, but then they say it, it does predict it. So they're just, they're just both full of shit. They say whatever they want to, um, to fucking make whatever fucking point they want to make. At least he didn't push for the ball, so I don't have to bother about it next turn so much. Good. Good. So the fact he didn't push for the ball with his with his balls is good, isn't it? Um, now he's got one in there. Well, okay, so make this block first. Unbelievable, Jeff. I think. I will elf screen this up a little bit. No, I can't actually elf screen her. I'll just come back. Cover the ball a bit. I guess don't need to re-roll a pick up this turn. This time. He's activated, so not blocking is okay. Yeah. Beg your pardon. Oops. Three ball pickups. Failures in a row.
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, Aguirre Weeks. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Aguirre Weeks says that there perfectly, doesn't it? There you go. That's brilliant. That I, I'm gonna. I'm, oh, I can't copy paste from here. Gotta go. Gotta go to my chat. Gotta go to my chat to copy paste that. That is fucking. That is so. Sums them up so perfectly. Oh wow! Oh shit! He's got block. What a cunt. He's made two blocks and made two stuns just quietly. Oh. Just quietly, he's made two blocks and made two stuns. Oh no, he did. No. Why does that fucking come up? I've, I've muted it on the thing and it keeps fucking coming up. Um. No, he did actually. He made, he made some one dices, didn't he? As well, actually, he's made two two dice blocks. That's what I should have said. He's made two two dice blocks. And. They both resulted in stuns. Dirty dingoes. That was a good non break. I need to get a foul in next turn, but I need to fucking knock somebody over to do that. And the ball's pretty in a pretty fucking scary spot still. He could block him. It feels like I'm down a million fucking players. He's protecting his hobgums by just kicking the shit out of this Nurgle warrior. One dice into death, and then just failing the ball pickups means that if he decides to blitz with a bullet at any time, I can get banged on. Oh, well, that's okay then. That's that's freed that up for a massive foul. I say massive, fucking two assist foul. If, I, if, of course, I can knock the cunt down, which is pretty fucking unlikely. Oh no, got him. Right. Obviously, found the thick skull isn't so good. But. I've got nothing else to do, have I? Apart from fail to pick up the ball again. Payoff's huge, isn't it? Huge. It's huge. Insta. Insta send off. Right. Holy shit, picked up the ball. Might as well get close, I think. Not too close though, not in range of a bull, uh, a dwarf. Mm. Yeah, of course he goes stupid. Standard. One dice on him is better than getting hit by a two, isn't it? God, what a what a fucking horrible match so far. <sighs> Hello, VIP Jam Toast. Yeah, his warriors are amazing. Eighteen two three or something's his record, or nineteen two three now. His warriors. After his twelve and zero start, he hasn't done so well. No conflicts and melt. The, the chaos are done at 41 games. TBH. His warriors are completely fucking amazing. But then, mine would have been if they hadn't died all the fucking time. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'm getting. I, I, I'm sure Lupac will overtake me on chaos. I'm absolutely sure. Because I just carried on playing after 18 5 0. 
If I just wanted to qualify, I should have just stopped on 18.50, shouldn't I? And then I would have qualified. Almost certainly qualified in 18.50. But the thing is, I would have had no chance in the finals. So I thought I'll play more to have more chance in the finals. Because what's the point in qualifying and going out in the first round? But then, unfortunately, I didn't even improve my team by playing an extra 20 games. I just made it worse because everyone fucking died. So, the Nergs are 4 1 0, but I imagine they'll lose this one. He's 4 0. He's got Chaos Dwarves. He's got a Wizard. I can't see. I've done nothing so far. Haven't broken armor on any hit. Got sent off. Instantly, first foul was a failure. Do you reckon Muldipster? I think 1850 is really good. I think 1850 is really good. At least I would have had to make him. Okay, well, I've had more chance than than what I've got now, you know, because I would have been able to. I would have had the hope. Like right now, the second loop pack goes above me, he stops playing. And I can't really get the wins to go back above him. Whereas if I was 1850 and he got above me, I could have just played another game to go back above him. <laughs> nice positive outlook. <laughs> PMA, yeah. <laughs> He's great in he? Linford. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't, I don't see how I um how I win this game against a competent opponent. That, that's the thing. You know, all of my previous opponents with this team were well, not not currently the one, not the one that I've got the. I don't know, I'll play with L's at some point. Good, of course, no send off for him. Standard. Oh man, 4 plus dodge to make a blitz. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Did you ever look on a Linford Christie level? Oh wow, he got stunned. He stunned himself. So again, he's making all the armor breaks. Right, this isn't a guard here, so he has to come in here, doesn't he, straight away? No, of course not. Activated him twice in four turns, failed them both. Right, he needs to come in here, and I need to blitz a hob and block a hob. Because removing hobs is good, isn't it? No armor break. Feels amazing, man. Even though he's kind of not over here. He's in the middle, isn't he? Ready to go either way. I, I would have been tempting to push down that side, seeing as he was weak. But I don't think he was that weak. To be honest. I don't think there's any way through for his bull there. And then that keeps the killer safe. I say killer. <laughs> Block fucking mighty blow. Can hardly call him a killer, can you? Um, yeah, the hells got burned yesterday. That's true. Yeah, unfortunately, fire it will take it will take you know x amount of days from science. I mean, they said two to three from from when I filled in the forms, which was at the weekend. So you know, God, yeah, the, the high elf game was crazy, wasn't it? The final appearance fails. Holy shit, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. He denied him so many blocks. Mm. 
Mm. Didn't work there. He gets banged on instantly. But I mean, by then it's too late. I've already seen. I've already seen everything. He's going to make another big foul here, isn't he? Ah, oh, this fucking. I thought it'd been good for me the uh, the bribe, but obviously I failed my first roll. If I'd been getting to make fouls every turn against an eleven-man team, it would have been pretty good. But unfortunately, I get one foul out of it, and he's had three so far. I guess Sage Aguirre makes because at least Sage has ever hosted me in the past. Whereas Lupac never has. The dirty dingo. Fake news. It's all about the fake news. 83% now. Oh wow, it didn't even break arm. That's pretty good. But he didn't fucking get sent off, did he? The little cunt. He hasn't saved. Fouls and failed a foul yet. Hasn't got used to his bribe yet. <laughs> Is there just no host alert? Is that what you're saying, Sean? <sighs> After being reminded five minutes later by Billy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just ignore it. And GFI to one dice blitz. Oh no, he's got guard. Alright, okay, it's not so bad. It's still kind of bad though, isn't it? GFI to blitz. The dirty dingo. This guy's armor's getting broken for sure. I think the longer it takes, so it feels like the longer it takes, the more likely they are to get an AV bro. Really like the beast to do something next turn. That'd be novel, wouldn't it? You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> Bullshit. You can be mine. That's a, that's a pretty amazing hostel there. Thank you, Crumsley, for the host. Oh man. Four and all. What a fucking dirty dingo. He likes his GFIs, doesn't he? He likes his fucking GFIs. Jesus Christ. Alright, come on. Get in there, you cunt. Good. Alright, so he can blitz in. This is fucking rough as fuck, though, isn't it? I might switch sides a little bit, actually. Could go here. Because he's got... One, two, three, four, five, and he's just GFI'd a couple of times to get over there. The only thing is he could free up the bull somehow. But um I can make this block. I guess make this block first, but it's not, hasn't got block. So make this block first. And blitz him. Or even blitz him. He could just stand, couldn't he? And then he could blitz him. So, yeah, okay, just stand. Okay, no blitz there then. No blitz at all. <laughs> Safe move, good, good safe moves first. That wasn't it. No fucking blitz. 
Don't even get the blitz if you make safe moves fucking first. Who the fuck said safe moves first was a good idea? Hello, big time, eight or five. Yes, yeah, pseudo RNG, holy shit. That would be brutal, wouldn't it? Virtual casino dice. <laughs> Blasphemy against the holy test. Oh man, the sage moves first, oh dear. Don't don't say that. He'll start charging you to say it. Yeah, <laughs> I need to work out what I have in this formation on Crusader Kings. Oh, beg your pardon. Oh, oh hello, cheeky. <coughs> oh. Oh, <my> God. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? I bet you're excited by this commentary here. Um, this is little wizard cunt doesn't do a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, the safe move was standing up instead of blitzing, wasn't it? Which wasn't um, wasn't really very exciting. No, they're a good team though for like playing pr playing properly because you've really got to expect everything to fail with them because they're fucking awful. But you really don't want him to get fucking injured, do you? <sighs> Oh, this game, I don't know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, do you know what, I'm not going to play any more Blood Bowl today, fuck it. I'm going to play, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to play, what's it called, that game that I like a lot more, GTA. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Yeah, the Nurgle run because went so well yesterday because everybody I played was new to Blood Bowl and I rolled quite good. But unfortunately, when you're playing people who've got the slightest clue how to play Blood Bowl, and, um, then it becomes a lot harder, doesn't it? And when you're not luckier, I mean, he's been luckier than me as well. He's made like five fouls all getting spotted. And I made one and got spotted the first time. Like shark and potato here. But he's got the wizard in his back pocket anyway. This is a pretty good move though here, isn't it? Apart from fucking getting rid of him. Cunt. Oh, that was bad. But then I couldn't move the I couldn't move the beast first anyway because he needed to come up here. Can't one dice block him because of the two assists there. So I guess he's got a dodge in GFI to get there. These are already in good spots actually, aren't they? No, because the beasts, the the fucking shithead is too fast, isn't he? The bull. I guess he goes there and then the beast runs next to his... Runs next to him.
This is fucking grim. He can get banged on. Fail it, of course. Mm. If he serves him, he doesn't stop the score, so... Seems reasonable. I'll make the dumb dice rolls with him, because why not? Oh, because I'll fail and get injured. No, I'm not injured. I was almost because of the GFIs, yeah. Yeah, at least his fouls haven't killed anybody. And obviously the the lack of the injury rolls means that they're less likely to be sent off as well, I guess. But still. It's pretty annoying. It's still pretty annoying he's just getting away with them all. I'd rather he just didn't get away with all these fouls. Bulkari's already dead anyway, yeah, that's true. Oh, right, I'm clicking in the clicking game, that's a really bad sign, isn't it? The potatoes failed, has it? I should have GFI'd last turn. Can I get a chain on him? Put a player here, player there, player there. Can't can't chain him. I should have got in fucking score range last turn. I'm just not going to score now. Double GFI to two dice. Oh, it's not even double. It's not even the two dice because of the guard. So I have to block him first. No, oh, it's okay, isn't it? <sighs> no, you're right, Shawnee. There's just no point trying to play good. There's just no point. <laughs> There's just no fucking point. <sighs> yeah, if I got in scoring range last turn, 
I could have um, I could have double won the GFI instead. Have another cool glass of piss, yeah. Uh, Make your pardon, that's what I need. We see another cool glass of piss. No, I'm gonna eat the thing. They're pretty guile, um. So I shall, I shall mute and turn off my camera. And to be fair, if I'd made safe moves first and moved him there, he might have been stunned though, I don't know. I don't know if he was stunned or not. If I'd moved him up and based the ball carrier, the ball sent or he wouldn't have had this scoring threat. I'm getting surf next turn, doesn't it? Right. Can't get anyone there for the assist. So just one dice blitz him. Or go the 50 50. You could blitz him now. I've got a blitz the ball. Do I go for the 50 50 <laughs> and the GFI? Oh no, I'll just go for this. Then if I get a push, he's up a square and I get the dodge on him. So yeah, okay, go for this. Because the push isn't bad here, is it? Holy shit, I'm just shocked it wasn't a skull. TBH. Hello, Jellyel. <sighs> Fucking banged on. I feel three fucking pickup attempts. He just gets it first try. 
I think he's thinking about bolting this guy to make the score easier. Geofine a handoff to score. Guess I'd go for it. I, maybe he wants to blitz with him. I don't know. I think I'd go for the bolt here. Chaos are indeed much better than Nerf. Yeah. A million times better. <coughs> they are completely a million times better than Nurgle at winning games. See, he's good, isn't he? He got, he got the, he got the chain there to do that. I tried to give him bad advices by saying I bolt, <laughs> just in case he's in the chat, <laughs> like Lupak always does. But there you go, two four, and he scores. At least he hasn't got a reroll. Jesus fucking Christ! No, but look, it was it was my fault. It was my fault because I misplayed by not double marking. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that guy was KO'd or not. I wish I could watch the replay live. If that guy, if that guy was stunned, then I misplayed and I could have double marked the the um, centaur that turn. Well, I mean, it would have only had to do a focus dodge. In fact, no, he wouldn't. He could have just cancelled it. Wouldn't have mattered at all, actually. So no, it wasn't my fault. It was a load of shit. Just an absolute load of shit. I was going to play GTA all day after this because it's actually, actually enjoyable. Nurgle at low TV are just the fucking worst, aren't they? They're the worst thing in Blood Bowl is Nurgle at low TV because at least with like goblins and even ogres, you ex you expect to lose with ogres. You expect to lose with ogres. And you expect to lose with goblins and halflings to a lesser extent than you expect to lose with, with ogres. You um, with vampires, at least they can. The vampires can do something. You've got some hope. Somehow you'll fill a GFI in GTA. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good for... Mm. 
Well, mishaps. I wanted to get in. I regretted not getting in the scoring range the turn before. There. I wouldn't have minded scoring in seven turns there. <laughs> it would have been much better than not scoring. <laughs> um, and getting scored on in return. But um, I just didn't think of it. I'm not bad. I'm not bad on offense, Miss Hubs. I just, I just get unlucky. Well, this is Nurgle, isn't it? And that was a just really... Just down two players, like the fuck, man. Just outbashed every single... Like, it's not... I'm not, I'm not getting outbashed on offense every time because I'm bad. It's just bad luck, isn't it? There was a half the other day where I didn't get bang on against the Camry. Completely, completely outplayed him. And then on my offense, just had everybody removed. There's nothing you can do against it. There's, there's no way you can stop players getting removed, is there? There's no way you can stop your apple failing. There's no way you can stop regen failing. There's no way you can stop making three GFIs. Two of them succeed. The third one's a double one. Five games in four one zero was an amazing start, um, but this is yeah this is the first game of the stream yeah, and the last of today, absolutely. He's made six fouls, hasn't got caught. I got caught on the first one. It's not. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just because you just don't notice the the turn the games where I just fucking stall them out, do you? That's the thing. Like, that's the key thing, isn't it? I'm not bad at on offense. <laughs> it's just that you don't notice the games where you um that go all right. Right, you blow blitz. Good. 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 So I guess there's a chance to turn him over and, and draw this game. There's a chance. No matter how fucking small. He has to get banged on. For science. Have to not allow a breakaway. Even though it's a pretty great biscuit. Never look, he feels bad, man. <laughs> yeah, breakaway is a great biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that would be pretty painful like why do you know who Linford Christie is? Do you know who Linford Christie is? It's funny he's, 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 a, he's a sprinter he's, he's England's greatest sprinter and, and he's mostly just he's mostly just famous for having a big cock <laughs> because you can always see it when he was running around. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> His lunchbox. That's what he's famous for. <laughs> it comes. It comes. Does it come up? Lunchbox. Oh no, because you're in Germany. When 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 I search for it, it it comes up. It comes up. Then there you go, lunchbox. Did you see this? Da. Da. 
<laughs> oh, him, the big cut guy. That's the one. That's the one. I don't know, bit barbecue sack. Maybe. I think maybe towards the end, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Linford. It was an unbelievable video of him as well, training. And he's just he's just hopping over hurdles. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. Plyometric training, there you go. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that fucking tentacles doing fuck all. To go stupid, why would he not? <sighs> it's really boring, doesn't it? Just failing everything every game. Yeah, Dwayne Chambers, yeah, I remember Dwayne Chambers. Stop fucking fighting everything! Ah! <laughs> oh dear. There's um there's a link to um Linford and his crazy his crazy um running thing. It was a good play by the coach the by the um Chaos Dwarf coach here anyway. I don't know how I don't oh I don't get this chance maybe. I I guess it was my fault for not doing safe moves first.
Let me go there. This is kind of a safe move, isn't it? Alright, go back. I don't know how he got himself into this mess, but never mind. He was obviously somewhat somewhat saved by my bad dice at first. Let's see if he has continued to be saved by the dice. Yes, I wasn't getting an assist for my strength four there, by the way. I just, it was just in case, in case it was a double skull or both down, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly fine. One of the comments is, although this is impressive as fuck, was it filmed with a loaf of bread? <laughs> Which was pretty funny, I thought. Well, he's lucky he's got this wizard, hasn't he? Because he'd probably just lost without it. I don't know what his game was when he did that move. With a thing. Did he make a GFI just because he was a bull sentinel? Maybe. <coughs> Is that somebody outside? Yeah. Oh yeah, a loaf of bread a loaf of bread emote would be alright, wouldn't it? And one of the comments on the video is, way too much floor support time, something I see in most plyometric videos. And there's one replied, lol, how many fucking Olympic medals do you have? This guy was the fastest human on the planet. I think it's safe to say he and his coach got it right. Some people are unbelievable, aren't they? It's like, it's like they, they, they watch a video of like Arnold lifting weights and they're like, oh, not very good, not but poor form there and stuff. And it's like, who the fuck? Who the fuck do these people think they are? It's unbelievable. CD dwarf CD, never try to have fun. No, I I don't understand what the what the having fun aspect of using a shit team is anyway. To be honest, I just don't understand it. Blood Bowl's fucking hard enough already. I don't wanna, I don't want to choose to make it more hard, like even harder, and then somehow that makes it fun. Now he's gonna make his three GFIs. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah, VIP, don't they, Kellis, yeah. <laughs> Poor form shit. It's, that's got to be one of the funniest internet memes ever. <coughs> oh, man. Hello, Seal Man. That is absolutely, that is the best. That is the best internet meme, is, is the poor form one. Holy shit. Some guy who weighs about 160 pounds and says, like, you know, oh, half Thor Bjornsson's got poor form there, <laughs> lifting a thousand pounds. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. The 400 kg he's got his bags and he's been down to 45.1 degrees. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh, dude, what's this? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, those fucking the kipping pull up, kipping things are the worst, aren't they? Right. Block him, get him in there. Get him in there, right. So, all it needs is the beast to not fuck up. 
That's 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 gotta happen, right? There's no way this beast will fuck this up. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this beast is not gonna fuck this up. Come on, beast, free dice. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck me twice in one game. Good. Good beast. Beast did not lose the game. Shock horror. Unbelievable, Jeff. Right, so. He's got to just GFI twice to make the hit, so he can go there. This is great as well because then he gets to block the he gets to block the centaur after the hit as well, doesn't he? Centaur went American there. Centaur. <laughs> oh my god! Made two GFIs and got the knockdown. Outrageous. Oh my god! Ko, I've been lucky this half. To be fair. I've been fucking lucky this half. TBH. No oh, apple on it, fair enough. Hmm. So the question here is whether to try this dodge, which would obviously shut down the guy, but the moment he shut down, which is pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good that he shut down right now. If I one dice him, then I can free him up. Ah, but then if I get a push, he can one dice the beast. I don't know, I like the beast having two guys. I don't really like the beast having three. He can block him, can't he? Because he's got block. Haha, <laughs> I've got block and you do have block as well. I'm one he can get there for the assist, but then if I dodge away, he can get there for the assist as well. So I reckon I just stay here and then see what he does. <laughs> Cock spotting expert, fine. <laughs> A seasoned cock spotter. Oh man. Yeah, three, a three, three is too much because it's a one dicer, isn't it? That's that's the thing. The thing with the the thing with the beast is two is three can one dice him. I guess I wouldn't will Ripster, yeah, because I want to get a touchdown on the board, don't I? Because he's got, the, he's got the fireball, and if I actually pick up the fucking ball, then that's good, isn't it? Man, all these GFIs. Dirty dingo. Go for it, man. He is the go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, a quiet weeks. Pretty funny. Yeah, I would have. I would have if I thought last in the first half. I'd have made the GFI to get in scoring range, and I just, I just misplayed by not doing it. Well, in my opinion, I misplayed by not making the GFI to get in scoring range the turn before. I think that would have been the better thing to have done, but um, I didn't do it. So one, two, three, four, five GFI. I will probably won't make the GFIs actually, because I just failed them. So yeah, so I gave up the one D. Let's see what happens. Instead of making it myself. Alright, good. Safe moves. First. Fuck off, you cock! 
cocksucker! Jesus fucking Christ! I want to try and get the knockdown here to move him into Mark the um, Hobgoblin. No, but I followed up like a fucking idiot. So that wasn't so good, was it? Right, if I stay here, he's got the chance of a bolt, but I've got time to pick it up again. He's got um, a 4 plus to 1D, and i still got guys around the ball. I'd rather not give him 3 turns to score. So yeah, I'm not going to make a GFIs. There you go, that was simple, wasn't it? So I still, still outnumber him around here though, don't I? Like I think that's all that that to me is is not a waste of a wizard, but it's not a it's not a good wizard, is it? You know, like I still think I'm in the driving seat to get a touchdown here next turn. More likely than not to be able to get a touchdown next turn, and then um, if I do, he's less he's that much less like. Less likely to score in two than he would have been in um, in three. Man, he likes his GFIs. No, it's not a good wizard. No, Mildred, it's not. It's not like. It's not a devastating one, is it? It's a hope wizard. Model. Yeah, it's it, a good wizard. Is like obviously he hasn't needed the good wizard, which is a wizard on his on my offense which gets a turnover and touchdown that's the best wizard isn't it that's that's a good wizard a good wizard is one that that hits the ball carrier and gets you the ball on your opponent's drive he's obviously not had the chance for that because he already stopped me fucking scoring anyway so he hasn't had the chance of the best wizard but um i don't think it's that good a wizard to be honest i really don't think it's that good a wizard because i've still got my guy next to the ball and he's going to make a 4 plus dodge out or whatever and he hasn't got, yeah, I don't think it's see look, he's just done that he's left myself he's left me with a 3 plus to score and it's, I don't think it's a good wizard, really, I really don't think it's like not it, it, the wizard didn't have an absolutely devastating effect is maybe a better way of saying it, I don't think it was the wrong decision to use it when I say a bad wizard I just mean it wasn't a crippling wizard like it, you know do you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't saying it was a bad decision to wizard there at all. Just I don't think it was. You know, obviously, if he'd killed him, then it would be. It would have been a good wizard. I, yeah, it wasn't. I wasn't talking about the decision. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh wow, got a serve. Unbelievable, Jeff. I should have moved him first, shouldn't I? Then he could have come in there. That would have been much better. Outrageous. Beast doing work is good, isn't it? Right, so the question here is whether I just go here or whether I foul him as well. I think I just go here.
Oh, he was marked. All right, then fair enough. Was he? Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he was. So I should have done the block first and then blitzed. Then that's probably what I should have done. If only he hadn't done his. If only he hadn't done his fucking dumbass. Um, dumbass, not dumbass. If he hadn't done his fucking dumb. Four plus score. Two plus four plus score. I would have just won this one, no, wouldn't I? Got the. Got the thing. Five plus into getting banged, yeah, that's true. And I guess then the ball goes in the crowd as well, so maybe it should have gone. Maybe it should have gone. No. It was what, four? I don't know. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, there you go, score. <laughs> no, of course not. Ball in the crowd. <sighs> yeah, I guess I should have scored. Guess I should have, well, not scored, tried the GFI, yeah, of course. Oh well. That was okay, although I guess you'll you'll have the ball with a bull centre, but still. It's still good though, I've still got a lot of players around the ball, and he doesn't. I'll score next turn if I can. That was a good scatter for me. <laughs> Obviously not for him. It wasn't just score, I would have had the GFI to score. So it wasn't a just score, it was a fucking, how many times you, I mean, I don't know how many times you've seen me one, one in 36, but um. It's a lot, you know, like, and it's not just because I'm unlucky, it's because there's a decent chance of rolling a 1 in 36, isn't there? So... Right, stand him up first, so it's harder for him to clear guys from here. No, I just stood him up. So I guess I really want to get the knockdown on him. GFI, right, so I just I'll just try to get lucky. Fuck it. That was stupid of me, wasn't it? That was really fucking dumb of me to try to get lucky. Should have known better than to try that, shouldn't I, eh? I should have fucking known better than to try to get lucky. Holy fucking shit. Not bad. You could go for the foul. Or maybe try to tag him. Foul or tag the ball. Tag, tag the ball, I guess. And now he can safely one dice him because the skull doesn't matter now. And again, a skull doesn't matter for him now if this is a skull. That was some. That was some good GFIs there. It 
Exactly, exactly, Stradi. Okay, the early score also gives the opponent the chance to go for the win. That's the thing. But yeah, obviously, 1 in 36 to fail. But the thing is, making your opponent make those rolls is better as well, isn't it? Like, if I fail that GFI and the ball scatters to here, on his turn, it's just so much easier for him to recover the ball. And do you know what I mean? Like, it's the failure state, isn't it? Is 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 the thing as well, isn't it? And the actions that they've got to do. He's got to use his actions to try to desperately go for the ball. Whereas if I fail the score that way, he's got a 4 plus dodge out to recover and sprint off. So... Yeah, it would have been 3 though, Muldipstra, if I'd scored then, wouldn't it? And the other turn. It's not scary, but it's it's better than... It's better than one or none, isn't it? That's the thing. Wow, what a madman. He's a madman. These two can't affect the play at all. So... Oh wow, dingo. Right, what's this? Uh, he'd have to GFI to get in for the chain. So block him with block. And then hit the ball carrier, might as well blitz. One. Two, three, four, no, one to there, two, three, four. So just need a push from the block. I'm surprised he went for that play, to be honest. Doesn't matter if it's with a ball or not, does it? Because a turnover's a turnover. GG. I really just wish he hadn't made his kind of lucky score on defense. Ah, oh, double skull. Fucking hell. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely standard, standard two dice to score. <sighs> Man. Fucking. <laughs> two dice need a push to score. Double skull. <laughs> fucking, fucking standard. Man, I reckon I could have won that quite easily. Like, I do, do you know what I mean? Not that I had to not play well. I just think I was a little bit unlucky for him to get the counter touchdown. Obviously, he did well to stop me. I, like, you know, not scoring my drive was fine. I think you got a little lucky to score in my drive, whereas... Um, there you go. <laughs> right. Skill for him is good, isn't it? Double means block. Don't need to think about that for a second. And still only 12 players next game. I guess I don't sell him because there's no need to. Um, no, there is. There is a reason to get So there's a reason to get rid of him right now. Because if I kill four players next game, I want them all. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to kill four players in the game, though. So I'll, I'll keep him just because a minus movement rot is probably better as a reserve than not having a reserve. So yeah, I'll, there, there is a reason with Nurgle uh, to retire Miss Next Games, but I, I will do the best practice of not sacking them until until they've returned. So yeah, 12 plays is okay. Couple of blockers. The mighty blow guy got a touchdown, didn't he? He went from 12 to 15, randomly. So if he gets a Kaz next game, he'll get Claw. And and now the beast is away, is, is away from guard, which would be nice, wouldn't it? To have some guard in the team. So 4-2-0 four four is still good with Nurgle. But um, I don't know. I feel like could I could have got the win there. But right. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.